emergency procedure topic there will be 13 sub chapter in this chapter the topic cover from vessel grounding collision personnel safety and emergency actions this chapter will end with search and rescue action for exposure to the marine world but for now we will only focus on the first three sub chapter which include vessel grounding and rear floats as the opening the starting topic is about beaching a vessel and its precautions for a normal vessel, beaching is defined as taking ground intentionally as occur for two reasons. First one is to prevent the loss of the vessel when damaged below the waterline. And secondly, when it is the intention to re-float after vessel integrity or watertight has been restored or problem phase has been resolved. This is an example of a 633 foot German container ships named Hansa Constitutions headed toward land after failing to slow down. The captain reportedly followed emergency procedure and dropped the anchor to slow down the vessel, although it is still made contact with the sea wall in front of the Stanley Ho Sports Center in Port Fulham, Hong Kong. There are other needs for us to do the beaching besides facing problems. Some beaching purposes are for vessel scrapping and others like landing craft or landing ship types of vessel, which carries cargo, vehicles and other stuff for load and unloading purposes. In military, the most important phase of landing craft operation are the severest tests for the landing craft crew is beaching. Poor seamanship skills during this operation can jeopardize life and property. During beaching operations, crew member must wear a life jacket, except when in the engine room or in the bridge house handling the wheel. They should be accomplished swimmers and qualified in life-saving techniques. A number of important rules to be observed by the master or coxswains when hitting the beach are they have firstly to check to see all of the equipment and cargo are properly secure. Secondly, to ensure that all personnel are wearing life jacket and thirdly, to make sure that each crew member in his place and ready for the run. Prior to entering the surf zone, we must firstly check the ground swell and attempt to gauge the nature of the surf, where the surf will appear only half as high as it actually is when looking from the seaward to the beach. Therefore, what appears to be a 3 foot surf is actually a 6 foot surf. Secondly, you should cross the surf line at the right angle to the advancing wave because waves are not always parallel to the beach. We should hit the beach at the fastest speed as possible. Keep the engines ahead and use the rudder and engine to keep the craft on the beach. Constantly check the seawater strainer and discharge to prevent engine failure at this critical time. For the landing craft, when the ramp is down, it will help to keep the boat stay on the beach. This is an example of pitching at the vessel scrapping site. What to do when a vessel experiences grounding? Grounding is similar to beaching, which to land a crew or cargo and or for maintenance or repair. But usually, grounding are unintentional as in a marine accident and it is commonly referred to as running aground. It may result simply in stranding with or without damage to the submerged part of the ship's hull, where breach of the ship hulls may lead to significant flooding, which in the absence of containment in watertight bulkhead may substantially compromise the ship's structural integrity, stability, and safety. What are the effects of grounding? Firstly, if grounding has led to crack in the cargo, for example tanker, the cargo might find a way into the sea leading to heavy marine pollution and thus causing detrimental effects on the environment and the marine life. Secondly, if the situation becomes grave and uncontrollable, it might lead to loss of human life. And thirdly, the coastal areas near the incident area will be drastically affected by the leak. And finally, heavy financial loss will be incurred by the ship owner and the communities near the incident area. This is an example of marine accident for a vessel running aground. So there are steps and actions to be taken when grounding. First, stop the engine and then inform the master. Switch emergency siren or bell 
close all the watertight door, stand by via shaft channel 16, measure water level in the tank and bilges, take ship position and time of accident, measure water level around the ship side, put the signal flag above the ship roof, switch all lights on main deck, call the coast station for assistance or may need tug assistance, record all events on the official logbook, and finally, take precaution to afloat back ships. Floating back a ground vessel is a procedure that must be carried out whenever it is possible. Adequate assistance from another vessel or rescuer is required in this operation. Some of the consideration to take into account when floating a vessel Firstly, engine full astern Secondly, discharge the water and at the same time make the ship astern Wait for the high tide Use anchor for towing the ship away from the shallow ground Transfer the cargoes to the barge or other ship that may come for help If anything going wrong or not proper, ask for the tugboat for assistance This is an example to floating back a grounding vessel